What's the crack lads? Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, we are doing some deep dive gameplay analysis and thoughts and reactions on the newest EAFC gameplay trailer that they have released. There's a couple of nuggets in here. I'm going to be doing everything. Uh, we did start this in my live stream. I usually do eFootball content and obviously that has been kind of what I've been playing and, you know, a big fan of eFootball obviously and where it could go into the future. But I am keeping an eye on EA EAFC as well. Every year I try to give it a go, um, but it's just not been for me. So let's have a look at a couple of the gameplay stuff here that they are talking about and let's crack on with this. So man, they're talking about like hyper motion. They're talking about these play styles, right? So for me, I think they kind of show different things of basically from what I can see, right? I'm not going to go into a big, massive, massive deep dive of this. Basically what they're saying is that if somebody does something like, you know, an animation or scores a certain goal, they'll be able to replicate it through hyper motion, through the new animation system that they have. That's what I've read out of it. If I've picked, picked it up wrong, like Hallen's goal there, they'll be able to recreate that and replicate it with an animation through hypermotion into the game. But it like, I like that sort of stuff if they can balance it. But like once they don't add something that's going to be super overpowered, the rest of the stuff that they're talking about here is just about movement, right? So I'm actually going to going to mute this a second they talk about different mute movements they talk about different player styles and they say that they have seven now um which i still think that the movement looks a bit janky right now i want to show you something here and again i am an e-football player but this is just me looking at this it doesn't really matter this sort of stuff isn't really a massive concern for me i know people will complain about it watch his movement watch Grealish's movement here when we play this he kind of is like doing a Roberto Carlos type mini stutter kind of, um, you can see the little kind of stutter. Now, I think they've always kind of struggled with that sort of skating kind of feel in the game. You can see it where they take kind of weird touches every now and again, where they're kind of gliding around, around the pitch. The game looks fine. I mean, it looks definitely looks playable. Um, the pacing of the game, the speed of the players, everything looks to be fairly well replicated, as in, you know, different players have different animations for sprinting and running. The presentation looks good. The finishes look good. The nets look good. This is what I was talking about um, with the players' movement and the animations. I just feel that when the players are running without the ball, and it's always been a thing in FIFA for me, when the players are running without the ball, they look kind of natural, but when the ball is put into their vicinity, they just do these weird animations where they like certain animations break to keep the response times, the speed, and the fluidity of the movement going um, because they want that type of, you know, fast paced uh, football kind of experience rather than, you know, having like plant footing or foot planting, I should say, um, or having any really weight or inertia to the players. They all look pretty similar to me with similar results. Now, the big thing that they're talking about here in this trailer that I'll cover just briefly is about these new play styles, right? So they talk about these here. They have different play styles for different uh, players. So this seems very similar to what eFootball have with their play styles that every player has a different uh, playing style and then they have player skills, right? So for example, if I was to show you here, this is Marquinhos in eFootball 2023, right? So you've got his playing style, which is a buildup, and then you've got all his player skills. So he's got heading, he's got man marking, he's got interception, he's got aerial superiority, um, and different cards and different versions of the cards can have different play player uh, skills and also have pl different player styles as well. So for example, you might have a Pedri that has got brilliant passing skills, and passing stats, or then you might have a Pedri that's more of a dribbler. So that is something that is in eFootball they seem to be borrowing I suppose um but yeah I mean again this is this is just kind of the way it works sometimes so you can just see a kind of a list of them here with the skills trickster um and all that let me know your thoughts on this because there is a lot of player skills and you can see as you go through the list here um you've got the trickster one where it's probably going to be that you can you know have different skills you've got finish shot and they're going to show an example here in a second of the difference between having a player with these skills or play styles uh versus not having them so there's like Marquis with the interception skill or the intercept they're calling it block you know the same as blocker um with different things how they balance these is going to be in my opinion huge for somebody coming over to play because they've had these very similar ones before so this is like no play styles here we've got saint maximin bursting in and you've got a saint maximin version with finesse shot right so you can see the difference so whether that's animation based, whether it's contextual based, whether it's guaranteed that if you have a player like this and you do nine shots or 10 shots out of 10 this way, you're going to score 10 goals out of 10 goals. 
what, you know what I mean? I don't know how they're going to balance that, realistically speaking. I really don't. So that's going to be something to keep an eye on. You can see there, there are all the play styles that you see there that you'll be able to pick um, how they're going to have that. I mean, listen, a lot of this stuff is probably new to me because the last FIFA I played was FIFA, you know, 18. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. They just round it off and say there's going to be more information soon. Graphically, presentation wise, I mean, it looks pretty decent. Obviously, you know, YouTube compression and all that is going to make a difference here. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, lads. It's just a short video on my reactions to it. Is it a hit or is it a miss? I mean, the things that worry me when you actually see the gameplay out wide, um, like here, like when you see the gameplay out wide like this, it still looks kind of skatey to me. But again, that's just a small complaint. If the gameplay is fun and it's fluid and there is a bit of realism in it and it's not just, you know, an arcade fest, which is why I originally kind of moved away from it, um, then I will give it a go and let me know if you guys would like me to do some content. Listen, eFootball is going to be always, you know, the main for me because I just feel like that even with all the issues, it still scratches that itch. Um, but let me know what you guys think and I'll be back soon. Hope you enjoyed something different. And uh, if you didn't, let me know in the comments below. Peace.